Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? It's your boy Ryder back with another classic. Why don't you guys do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button for me and uh, enjoy this video. I got some good content for you guys today. Let's get it. So uh, a lot of people are asking me, is it a good time to join the trucking industry right now? So if you don't have your Class A license right now, and uh, if you're looking to buy a truck and get your own authority, I would do it. Now's the time to do it. So all those guys out there that's uh, looking to get into trucking school, I will find a trucking school. I will go get my Class A license and uh, I will get some experience right now why everything is messed up. You know, companies like Swift and CR England, they will pay for your trucking license. You guys just have to work with them for a little while. Then you guys can switch over and do your own thing. Or you can pay out of pocket and find a decent truck driving school in your area. But uh, a lot of people out there, what I would do right now, if you're thinking about becoming an owner operator and buying a truck, I wouldn't necessarily buy a truck right now. What I would do, I would start with my authority. I would uh, first, I'll start with my LLC. I'll form an LLC right now, right? Then once my LLC is formed, I will start forming my authority and I'll get all my permits and everything ready to go. But remind you guys, uh, your authority will not be active until you guys get insurance. So if you guys can afford insurance right now too, I will get it. But I will get the hard part out of the way first. You know, uh, the LLC, get that out the way, the, your authority and get that out the way. So now, even if you don't go and get your insurance in your truck from six months down the line, unless you, at least you got that stuff down. Because what's gonna happen is, right now from for the next couple months a lot of people are about to start getting out of trucking okay a lot of drivers are going to be selling their equipment a lot of companies are going to be letting drivers go because it's a mess right now you know so what i would do i will be looking if you're on in the market to buy a truck i will start looking right now and i'll buy the truck if you could if you can fi find a still on the truck get the truck right now because what i believe that's going to happen when the work is busy again and the rates are back up then you know what's going to happen the prices of trucks are going to go back up and you know and no telling how much they're going to be they could be more but uh i know it sucks right now with these rates i'm looking on the low board and i'm like damn what, what's going on with everything it's like uh round trips right now are like 150 bucks to 200 bucks for round trips from inland empire to long beach right now now all owner operators know to get from San Bernardino to the ports and back right now, it's probably like 200 bucks in fuel. So why would you waste your time taking that load? You'll be swiping your fuel card and that money will just be just to pay for that fuel. So what I would suggest for a lot of people to do right now, if the work is slow and the rates aren't as good, I will just hold on to my truck and I'll park it for a while. You know, and I will go find other things to do. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody has businesses to run and uh, they have overhead, but if your overhead is low, like my overhead is real low. You know, I made a decision to go get a cheap truck. My my truck payment is what, like a, a 1094 and my, um, my insurance is 900. So $2,000 a month for my overhead for my business. So that's, I can sit my truck up for a month or two or however long I need to until things get back better and it's not killing me, you know? So, and I understand those drivers that have a lot of overhead right now and they have expensive truck payments and expensive insurance. They can't really afford to sit their trucks down. But what might help you guys, if you guys might have to counsel you, I've seen a lot of people doing this right now. A lot of people are parking their trucks and counseling their insurance so they only have their truck payment to worry about, which is smart because guess what's going to happen? You guys are going to get in so much damn debt and get behind on bills trying to run your business that it's not even going to be worth it for you guys. So what I would do, guys, if you can find good loads and you got uh, you got a good relationship with a direct customer, then you're going to be busy. And that's what I want to teach you guys what to do. 
a lot of people want to go get loads directly from the ports it's going to, the rates are going to suck doing that but if you have relationships with different customers then guess what's going to happen you'll st you'll stay slightly busy i just made a video i'll put it in the description uh i just made a video on how to find work for your truck if you guys haven't seen that video yet go check that video out it's real simple to find work for your truck or if you're a company driver go to craigslist or indeed.com you'll be able to find work easy okay guys you know uh if the trucking industry is going to turn around you know for all the new people thinking about getting their class a license go for it go do it you know it's going to be worth it in the long run you'll have a career for the rest of your life or, or however long you guys want to drive even if you don't want to be a driver forever if your dream is to start off as a driver buy some trucks and get some drivers and just kick back in the office and and book loads for your guys and run a business then you know it's a start you have to get your class a but i if i was if i was you know wanted to switch careers and jump into the transportation industry i would do it right now you know i would go to school go get a class a i will go get six months to a year of experience working for somebody else then i will go branch off and get my own truck i wouldn't buy a truck fresh out of trucking school because your insurance premium is going to be through the roof you know go work go work for one of these big uh companies for a while learn how to drive and let them pay for your insurance okay make as long as you can make a thousand plus fifteen hundred dollars a week you're good you know that's good as any owner operators right now a lot of owner operators are barely making a thousand dollars a week right now you know and uh so it's not even worth starting their trucks but all the owner operators out there you know i, I want to drop some jewels to you guys you know you gotta figure out more than one hustle right now the trucking industry is crap right now so what you guys got to figure out what's best for your situation you have to find a decent side hustle to supplement the money that you're making you're not you know it's going to be hard for you guys to go out there and find a gig to where you making four to five thousand dollars a week you know what i'm saying it's, it's hard to make that right now in the truck industry but if you can go find a side hustle to make you a thousand to two thousand fifteen hundred if you're lucky a week then park your truck and do it but don't get out of the trucking industry based on these low rates and the slow freight because it's going to turn around you know and i know a lot of guys out there you might just need one more year to pay your truck off or you just got a new truck and i understand the guys that's trying to get rid of their equipment most of those guys are the guys who are high overhead they're selling their um their tractors they're selling their trailers because it's just too expensive to take care of right now you know but what we got to do as a as another trucker to another trucker we got to give free game and information you know what i'm saying to each other to help each other out that's why i don't charge for the stuff i know i don't know everything but i know i'm pretty knowledgeable about the truck industry i know a lot and like people hit me up on instagram and my comments emails i get I, I help you guys out the best way i can and give you guys some decent advice on which route you should go now it's up to you to do what you want to do because you you guys are going to make the final decision at the end of the day of which route you guys should go but what i would do seriously i i would get into the trucking industry right now if i want to become an owner operator i'll knock my permits out right now and i'll do what i need to do because what's going to happen in california once that ab5 law comes to effect everybody is going to be trying to get their authority and everything llc together at once you know because when i was getting my permits what when what, what was it like uh the the beginning of 20 20 or whatever and it was so long to get the process started because everybody was doing it at once then this was in the 
the height of the pandemic so the dmv was backed up with everything so it took it didn't take a quick four weeks or faster to get it it took a while because a lot of people were forming their authorities and a lot of people were trying to get llc's when we had all this money in the truck industry so while while the truck industry is quiet now is the perfect time to start getting your llc together and your permits together and your your authority whatever you need get that stuff together right now whether you just want to be interstate whether whether you want to be interstate whatever it is that you guys want to do get it together now okay so if you guys go try to get your permits in order to now right now guess what happens in the beginning of the year you're gonna be ready to rock and roll all everything's gonna be good in the dmv you're gonna be ready to rock and roll so when those low boards is back popping and you hear all these truckers out here making happy videos because i see a lot of sad youtubers right now i see a lot of sad people on social media i see a lot of sad, sad people on facebook groups everybody is sad i'm even seeing guys in some facebook groups i know they're uh filing for bankruptcy with their businesses right now that's how messed up it is but what i would do if i was you guys don't accumulate a lot of debt don't do it it's not worth it do what you know that you can for sure handle for your situation don't go out there and try to get the most prettiest truck i don't have the most prettiest truck you know i, I of course i would like a an expensive truck and and a nice shiny truck but now it's not the time you know my truck has been in the game and we've been making money since day one it's not the prettiest truck you know once i pay my truck off if i want to paint it a certain color or do do a few things to it then that's when i'll do it but right now is not the time to be doing all that you know it's like it's it's like if you want a hundred thousand dollar mercedes benz and you know we're in a bad economic stage in america you, that'd be stupid for you guys to go out there and get that car because you're going to end up losing that car sometimes patience is everything and that's the number one thing that you guys have to have in this game is patience when you're on these freeways you got to have patience bumper to bumper traffic in southern california when you're at these ports you got to have patience when you're at these shippers getting unloaded getting loaded you have to have patience and that's where people are losing their patience right now in the trucking industry I don't see a lot of guys that have five plus years under their belts really complaining as much in the truck industry. It's a lot of the new guys that just came into the industry the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020 and got a year on a few years under their belts. They're the ones that's hurting more than anybody right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't really see a lot of old school truckers mad they're they're not happy that the rates are so low but at the same time they're not complaining and they're not selling their equipment and they're not getting out of trucking so quick because they understand what's going on like the whole trucking industry is taking a reset you know and once it's done <clears throat> once it's done resetting and everything gets back to normal guess what it's gonna be enough money more money than you probably we probably was making in 2020 and 21 okay we just gotta we just gotta stay down and stay solid and just have patience you know if you can find other hustles right now do it if you guys looking for side hustles all you got to do is uh go on youtube or tiktok and type in uh side hustles a million side hustles will pop up for you guys for you guys to start making a couple of dollars here and there but do not sell your equipment if you don't have to. If you got low overhead, of course don't sell your equipment. Par park your truck, park your trailer, and just chill out until things get better. But if you got high overhead and you're drowning and you're on the verge of going into bankruptcy, then of course, guys, get rid of that stuff. Because you, sh and, if, and if you have to get rid of your equipment now, you shouldn't have had your equipment in the first place because the number one thing that I, I think about is what did everybody do with all this money that they were making in 2020 and 2021 and in the beginning of this year 2022 
what all those thousands it was guys on youtube grossing forty thousand dollars a month otr you know what i'm saying box truck drivers grossing twenty eight thousand dollars a month now a lot of those guys are hurting right now and i'm trying to figure out what happened to all that money would you guys do with all that money because if you guys saved a small portion of that money then you guys will be good right now and you guys can take a few months off of work if and, and live off your emergency fund instead of working and living off your emergency fund you know that's why the number one thing about business guys you have to build business credit that's number one when you got your own business you have to build business credit and only use your business credit for emergencies only only use your business credit for emergencies only and to put back in your business to grow you know but a lot of these people out here they, they went and bought cars bought houses wasted a lot of money and they got into debt you know i'm guilty of blowing off a lot of money too i i, I did it you know i admit it i'm not perfect nobody's out here is perfect you know and people people gotta understand if you didn't do the right thing the first time when all this money was coming in let this be a learning lesson when the rates get back booming and freight is good do the right thing and start stacking up as much money as possible for rainy days because a lot of truckers out here never would have thought in a million years we'll be seeing these like these kind of rates from my whole 11 year driving i never seen no rates like this the first time back in 20 20 what 14 or whatever when i first leased my truck i was getting round trips working at night working at the night shift i was getting round trips for 450 dollars round trips from the inland empire to long beach and back now the low board is like 200 dollars around trips right now i, I have never seen nothing like this you, you know i see i've seen and experienced slow seasons and slow periods that's trucking every now and then a few times out of the year it's going to be slow but i've never seen the race as low so let this be a learning experience for everybody when things get better after the chinese new years when when they come out back and the ships are here and uh the ports are done negotiating and the rates is good and everybody's smiling and making money after the holidays when everything gets back good the number one thing we got to do as truckers we got to start saving money for rainy days because a lot of people are hurting right now because they didn't stack their money up okay and the second thing when you want to buy a truck try to keep your overhead as low as possible okay and always remember if you go buy a hundred and fifty thousand dollar two hundred thousand dollar truck guess what you don't earn unless them wheels don't turn so the more you spend on the truck you're gonna be living in that truck you you, you know if you want to be a local driver you don't need a, a expensive truck like that 40 50 60 70 thousand dollars eighty thousand dollars the most guess what you're gonna make enough money in that truck and gonna be good but if it's your life goal to buy a brand new truck then understand this it's going to come with a price and you're going to have to work hard to keep that truck and if that's okay with you guys then fine do it you know i i don't i i don't agree with it you know that's my way of thinking you know if find me something decent maintenance take care of it pm services change the tires when i need to change the tires if anything is wrong with my truck throw, throwing in the uh throwing in the shop i'm good build relationships with uh places like a uh, rider you know so when your truck breaks down you can go hop in a rental truck you know and uh keep keep the ball rolling and uh a lot of people out there don't even know you don't you can go rent a truck from rider places like rider right now without even having a truck under your belt so if you want to get your feet wet in the industry right now or when it gets back better you can go out there you can rent a truck 
open an account with Ryder and you could rent a truck before you buy a truck and start making money. Yeah, they're gonna tax you with them weekly payments, but it's a start, okay? So I'm trying to give you guys some free game right now. And uh, I believe that now is the perfect time to get into trucking. Everybody always asks me that, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Get, if you don't have your class A and you're thinking about getting your class A, do it now. If you're thinking about switching the company driver and becoming an owner operator, stay, 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 uh, stay as a company driver for a few more months. But as you're staying as a company driver, get your permits and everything in order. So and stack your money up to buy a truck. So guess what? When the, in the industry starts getting better, you got your permits. All you got to do is get your insurance and buy a truck, guys. And you guys are good. So make sure you guys hit this like and subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoying the content. I got a lot of stuff coming. I'm trying to drop a video for you guys every day this month. This will be my 15th video. What's today? The today's the 15th. I done dropped the video every day. So I'm going to try to, to do it the remaining of the month. So you guys bear with me. I got a lot of stuff to teach you guys. Let's get it.